the original date palm hasn't been seen here for maybe a thousand years. We would like to revive the Judean date and see if, if it lives up to expectations and legends. The date palm tree was known throughout the ancient world, the Judean date palm, as one of the tastiest, largest dates in the world. But it was also famous because it had very strong medicinal properties. It was used against infections, for depression, as a general tonic to make you feel better, and it was highly sought after. There's a lot of archaeology in Israel. You know, Matsada was excavated extensively by Yigal Yadin. And when he was excavating, he found thousands and thousands of ancient date seeds. And with those seeds, we went down to Kibbutz Keturah and we said to Elaine, put them in the soil, water them and see if anything comes up. And it took me some time to figure out how I must might do it because you only have one chance with each seed. And I began to work at how I might be able to revive fragile specimens. After rehydrating some of the seeds, I began to think of how I might encourage them to grow if they were alive. When I first saw that something was actually coming up, I could not take my eyes off of it. Date palms are either male or female. And the Susaner is a gentleman and he produces pollen. So he won't produce fruit. So what Elaine did is she asked somebody who had a wild female growing on their farm, right up in the Arava. And he took some of the pollen and he put it on the wild female. And a few weeks, months later, it produced some dates. We would like to try and germinate more seeds and make sure they really are ancient seeds. And perhaps even one day, have a whole plantation of ancient trees, male and female ancient trees, and reintroduce the ancient date back into agriculture. Hey folks, Yishai Fleischer here in Kibbutz Keturah. We're about 50 kilometers north of Eilat. Right next to me is a modern day miracle. This is the tree called Metushelach or Methuselah. That's a reference to the Bible's oldest character. And the reason this tree is called Metushelach is because although it looks young, it's actually a 2,000 year old tree. Well, the truth is the seed that was found is a 2,000 year old seed. That seed of this Judean palm was found on Mount Masada. It was probably a remnant of the 2,000 year ago fight between the people at Masada and the Roman legion that uh, encircled them, surrounded them, and besieged them in order to get rid of them, to destroy them. This is what's left of them. And the scientists here at the Arava Institute at Kibbutz Keturah were given the challenge to make this tree come to life again. And here it is. It has come back to life and it is really an honor just to stand next to it. Dr. Elaine Soloway, you're a botanist and you're working here at the Arava Institute. Behind me is Methuselah, um, a tree, a tree, but for some reason this is a big deal. Tell me why. Uh, this tree was sprouted from a, a date pit found in Masada uh, by uh, Yigal Yadin and given to Hebrew University and later transferred to Bar Ilan by Echud Netzer and it was given to me in a handful of seeds by Dr. Sarah Salon from um, Hadassah from the Natural Medicines Research Center who asked me to try to sprout the seeds and this is the only seed that came up of the handful of seeds I was given. So the seeds, uh, when were they from uh, the 1500s, the 1700s? They were dated between 35 and 65 AD by radiocarbon dating in two places. Which makes it in the uh, Gregorian? <laughs> makes it almost 2,000 years old. So this is a 2,000 year old uh, baby tree, this is a 2,000 year old baby, is that what I'm saying? This is a, a 6 year old tree from a 2,000 year old seed. This is indeed one of the most secure trees I've ever seen. It's got 24 hour surveillance by camera and also motion detectors surrounding it. They want to keep this tree safe. 
and you call him Methuselah for the biblical character, which is uh, 969 years old. Now, what's important about this tree is that could this be a remnant of what they call the, the Judean uh, date, Judean palm tree? That's our hope. We hope it's a, uh, a uh, seedling of the Judean date line. And there's some things that indicate that that may be true. Now, what was it a different tree than what we use today? What do we use today? Explain to me, what does that mean? Why is that important? Well, all of our commercial dates come from um, the Gulf area, actually, uh, or from Morocco. Uh, we have two main types down here, Majul and Dekel Noor, and uh, they were imported into Israel through California. Um, as far as the, the varietal dates from biblical times go, they went extinct when no one was left to take care of them. We still have wild dates dating back to that period, but the varietal dates are gone. And these were apparently very good. The Romans, the Roman em emperors preferred them to the dates in, in what they called the known world, you know, nowadays. But that was all the area that they knew. They said that the Jews had the best dates. It was probably true since they had absolutely nothing nice to say about the Jews other than that. <laughs> so uh, they were also used medicinally. And um, there were apparently several varieties, some of them quite large. So we're hoping we have some of the genes from, from that line. In this one tree? In this one tree. So this is a pretty emotional thing. This is, this is, this is, uh, not, uh, this is not just a tree. This thing that I'm looking at is part of, uh, if I may wax uh, emotional philosophical here, this is part of the redemption and return of the Jewish people to the land of Israel. Uh, you, one could definitely see it that way, yes. Um, it's very, very exciting to have a biblical plant come back to life like this. And we're hoping to learn a lot. It's a male, so we can't immediately get fruit, but if we have gene capture, we can do something with those genes. Dr. Elaine Salway, tell me a little bit about how you were able to sprout, how you were able to uh, help this guy grow and give him that, that fertility, that love, what was the technology uh, behind the blessing? Well, basically, um, we developed a protocol for moistening the seed uh, to see if any membranes are left intact and use different growth hormones to get the shoot and the root going. And then we gave uh, the tree a good dose of enzymatic fertilizer so that if the seed and the, f the food in the seed wasn't valid, there would still be some chance for the plant to come up. It was actually not very healthy for the first months after it came up. It was very, very pale in color. I was worried that perhaps it couldn't make chlorophyll, but it stabilized. And three, four months after um, the tree sprouted, we knew that it was going to be okay. Dates are tough little things. What's the future for Methuselah? Well, we're going to see if we can get Methuselah a mate. And if not, we're going to get him a girlfriend from his closest genetic line that lives now in modern times, which is an old variety from Egypt called Hiani. And then? We're going to cross-pollinate them and see what we get. Okay, so cross-pollination. So you're... you're a we're making him an arranged marriage. You're Shad Khanit. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I can't wait to, you know, is, uh, am I right that your hope is one day to see fruit yes. from uh, Methuselah? Yes. It would have been more convenient if, he, if the tree turned out to be Mrs. Methuselah. But Mr. Methuselah is good too. It's just going to take a little longer. Could it be that this was a pit that was spit out by, by Elazar Ben Yair out at uh, Masada when they were fighting the Romans? It could have been spit out by someone or it could have been left as a uh, fruit that wasn't used in the Maksan. Uh, the storehouse that it was found in. It's impossible to tell. We can, of course, speculate. And, and that, that makes a very good story, by the way. Um, we know that many pits were found, so there must have been food stores in this particular collapsed building. Uh, it's just that some of them were not even identifiable, and this was the only one that was alive in the sheets I was given. Amazing. And I am looking forward to seeing Methuselah grow and to eat from his delicious fruit, his 2,000-year-old uh, fruit, uh, brought back to life six years ago. Dr. Elaine Soloway from the Arava Institute, thank you so much. Okay, thank you for coming.